All right, guys, in today's video, just some quick, easy, cheap methods to apply to the sagging roof lining that you may be experiencing in your car. So these will be like just a uh, short-term type of solution until you're ready to maybe take it to a motor trimmer or an upholsterer to get it professionally recovered. So what the professional way to fix a roof lining that's sagging would be, would be they would drop down the headlining board, so take off the grab handles, the pillars, drop it down, take it out the car completely, take off the old material, take off the old foam, that all goes in the bin, reapply brand new glue and brand new fabric and then reinstall it back in the car. So that's the professional way. And if you're looking for like a um, quick fix to get you by, I'll show you that now. So we usually see customers do three options to try to hold up their headlining in the short term. They might fire in a few staples, use some drawing pins or add a bit of glue. So the drawing pin method uh, they don't really um, anchor in that that well and the drawing pins usually fall out but it is a nice not bad solution if you can get like maybe a twist pin like an upholstery twist pin that will stay anchored in there uh, much better than what a traditional drawing pin would so that's not too bad of a solution so the adding the glue method does get quite messy you can actually get like a glue stain come up where you've added your glue so maybe best not to add glue also um, other than that, when the uh, glue does set on the board, what you've added, usually when the upholsterer goes to take it out and they, they want a clean surface to sand down ready to apply brand new material, that glue that you've added, you pretty much got to sit there with like a, a coarse sander and sand it down flat. So if your headlining boards are strong uh, fiberglass type of hardboard, that's probably not going to be an issue. But if it's like, um, like a soft type of tissue paper, that's usually seen maybe in a Toyota Corolla uh, and a few other different makes and models even the old Ford Falcons like the EOs they um, you can actually damage the headlining board that much so that the glue seeps into the headlining board and you go to take off the old cloth and it'll just pull up the board and then it'll give you like an imperfection there pretty much you can't use it otherwise you might get imperfections on your headlining of the new cloth so maybe best not to add any glue because it can um, cause all those issues just described. So I reckon the best method to apply would be uh, a staple gun. So what I suggest to do is use an office stapler and then you flip it like this, whack in some industrial type of staples, something like heavy duty and then once it's flipped like this you can actually get into those tight gaps up the front here, push your cloth back, uh, all that fa um, sagging fabric cloth all the way back so it's, you've got a clear eyesight back to the road again and then you can fire a few staples in here to hold it up and you can do that quite neat and um and sitting in the front seats here you're not going to see those staples so it's an extra excellent way to hold up the um, sagging loose cloth and to basically just give you a clear eyesight to the road again uh, the customer has done the staple option and they've also done the glue option so perfect uh, example right here to show you uh, what they've actually done and you can see how it kind of works so um, you can see how the headlining sagging at the back here and at the front here and it would have been sagging along other spots here but they've actually fired in a few staples as you can see here I mean that's smack bang in the middle you're going to see the staples but it does the job and a good thing about this is when the upholsterer wants to redo this headlining one day pulling off the cloth the staples are going to come out quite easily and the staples don't actually damage the board because uh, being just an office stapler you're just going to be applying a small amount of pressure into the board to get the staples in so i think if you're using maybe in a big industrial type of uh, air powered stapler you may be um, forcing too much pressure but they've also added a bit of glue and you can see right here about that glue stain that appears so when you go to recover or when you go to actually sand down this headlining board now 
all the rest of the old foam is going to come off really easy but when you come to the part where they've added glue uh, you can see how it's kind of like cemented the glue to the board it's just a nasty kind of um, finish there to get rid of so yeah office staples are good uh, why I got you here I'll also show you the twist pin method so what this allows you to do is where it's sagging here and there's a bubble you poke that sharp point first in and then you give it a twist Here is the clear headed twist pin installed. Uh, it's holding up that sagging, um, dropping fabric section here. And um, what makes these pretty good is that they don't fall out that well uh, like the traditional pins where they, uh, the vibration of the car being on the road may be enough to make them fall out or land on your seat. So these ones here, when you want to take them out, you just twist them the other way, of course. And um, you can get those buggers out quite, quite easy. There we go. And that's what they look like there so yeah that's a few methods there i just showed you guys to hold up the uh, roof lining just for like a short term type of solution uh, until you're ready to get it recovered if you're looking to do the recovery stage yourself and you want to tackle that aspect uh, check out the link below in the description we have an ebook there titled headlining secrets and we'll take you through all the steps the professional way of how to drop down a headlining board take it out the car recover in brand new material and then reinstall it back in we'll show you the fabrics to use the glues to use the common problems to watch out for it will be uh, like a universal approach so you can apply it to most modern cars uh, and um, yeah that's it guys if you like this content give it a thumbs up click that subscribe button it really helps us out and we'll see you here on the next video cheers